know that one of Tom's favorite portions of scripture was the 23rd Psalm. And I know of no other man who believed more than he. Truly, the Lord. Now in death, he passes not into darkness, but into the very presence of God. Lying in green castles, beside the still water. Tom loved his Lord. And like his Lord, he was a man of action. And I think of 1 John chapter 4, verses 20 and 21. It reads, if someone says, I love God, and that he is God, he's alive. For the one who does not love his brother, who he has to, not love God, whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, that the one who loves God should love his brother also. I saw Tom live that kind of life. And I believe he exemplifies the words of Jesus Christ. Greater love hath no man than this, and that a man lay down his life. dissecting our circumstances, looking for something or someone to blame for our misfortune. He was your son. He was my husband. He's Michael's daddy. What do you want me to say? Okay, okay. I understand you did what you had to do. You let Tom die. What good is it if I understand? It's not going to change anything anyway. Of my life. Now, no, you are. 
You've bluffed your way so far and gotten away with it. What are you talking about? You're scared to death. <laughs> of what? Life. You're in a real pickle, my friend. And you must know that you wouldn't be coming to me. You know what the answer is, don't you? <laughs> Except you're scared to death. God's going to take something away from you and turn your life over to him. Well, God does not take, my friend. He gives. He gives. He took we can't judge God by what he thinks is right. Tom is where he wants to be. Besides, God will give so much more in return. Yeah, would well, you tell that to Tom's wife and son? You really don't see it, do you? Don't you realize that's twice now God's tried to get your attention? How many years did Tom pour out his love for Christ to you and defend you? Who was it who stood by you when no one else would? That guy gave you everything he had to give. Niall, when you roll in on a target at 500 knots, it doesn't take very many mistakes to nose you right into the ground, does it? Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about that since the answer. You know what the Bible says about where you're at right now? It says, it's in the, you're a fool. For this very night, your life might be demanded of you. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what I had to hear. You need to do more than hear it, Lyle. You need to do something about it. I need to talk to Anne. I don't have the guts. You need to be talking to God first. You gotta make it right with her, Harry. I can't even concentrate on flying. Lyle. You know, after the bus picked up at school today, Bobby's mom called. Guess the team isn't doing too great, so she uh, tired. I couldn't have been him. Yeah, he did. Suppose I told you it wasn't your fault. Would that make you feel any better, Major? As a Christian, I'm supposed to forgive you. I'm supposed to help you. I'm supposed to love you. I don't even like you. I just want to hurt you as bad as you hurt me. The colonel saved your life. You didn't even thank him. Tom brought you down safely.